Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Samira. So today we are making this beautiful off shoulder trouser V waistline and it's going to also have small puff sleeve on it. We are using Dutchess material and it's also one yard material that we are using to make this beautiful style. So guys, sit back and enjoy this tutorial to the end. Please watch it to the end so that you'll be able to learn how to cut and sew this tie. On your own you can see how the waistline is beautiful so guys don't forget to click the subscribe button now under my video to subscribe now you can share this tutorial with your friends ask your friends to also subscribe to my channel so keep on watching this tutorial to the end for you to be able to learn how to make this tie on your own so we are going to start now so keep on watching for you to understand how to make this style on your own so let's get started now we are using um so we want to start with our measurements and we are using elastic to complete our sleeve that will have a small ball sleeve so now we want to start with this fabric now to start with our measurements so i'm just laying it down for us to start it so this is how you go about it when making your up shoulder top so it's up shoulder that we are making so now we we'll start with our length so let me cut it and have a straight line so that will guide us to cut this beautiful style so this is how you will lay it lay it very well so it's a duchess material that we are using and it will have v neck please it will have v waistline on it so it's one yard material that we are using to make this uh, top that you want to cut out now and it's a puff sleeve a small one that you want to make so now let's get started with our measurement so this is how you place your tape when cutting your up shoulder remember it's up shoulder so that's my length for my top my length that i'm having there is 24 so this is my length so you just continue to take away from your tape and what i did there is for that i'm taking out from my tape that is for my shoulder so that is how you will get it and that is how you also cut it when making your own so come to half length so that my half length my half length line is 16 so that's my 16 there so that's how you also mark when doing your own is the different can be the measurement that is you can have your waistline that is the half length 16 17 depend on the measurement you have so that's my neckline too so what i'm marking there is three so i'm just marking three to bring it down is straight neck that i'm marking so that's my arm o. my arm o is one inch that i'm marking and i'll have a curve there so that is where our bust measurement will start now so it's a straight line a neckline that we are having on the front why the back i will bring it down a little and it will be round neck so that's my bust measurement my bust measurement is 38 so i'm adding one inch for my sewing allowance coming to my waistline that is the measurement my measurement for my waist is 28 adding one inch on it for my doubt so that is what i'm putting out there so the remaining one that is the sewing allowance is also one inch I'm marking there so this is how you also go about it when making your own so just look every day that I'm doing here and follow up so this is the where we'll get our V waistline starting from the half length so I'm connecting it now to stop at my waistline there now so from there is where I'm pointing out for you that will not get our V waistline there so this is what I'm doing there and this is how you also cut your own when making your own so just look where i'm trying to curve it so i'm covering i'm not giving it straight so can you see what i did here now so i'm covering it so that it will have that v shape under that uh, waistline so this is where i curve it now so i did not give it a straight v i curve it by the time i cut it now you will see where i curve and this eye to come out very well that the shape of this uh, v waistline so this is how you cut it when making your own please always subscribe to my channel and watch my video to the end 
and share it to your friend please so that they too can also learn from this uh, video and so on their own so i want you guys to be doing everything that i'm doing here so that by the time you watch you just practice it and you will get it and before you know you will be able to cut all the styles that you are seeing me doing so can you see i've cut it now where i curve it and you can see how the shape has come out so this way i'm pointing out for you to see when making your own this and you also do it on your own so can you see the also the neck is a straight neck not round neck not v-neck so let me open it for you to see how the v waistline is and how the neck is also you can see how the neck is it's a straight one and the v waistline you can see how curve it is that give out that uh, shape not a straight v waist line but it's curved at the side of it so this is the back side so what i did i just used the front to lay for the back side so that to we'll cut out the back and using one inch for my zipper allowance so that my zipper allowance then i have marked so just for us now to give the neck for the back remember i've told you that i'm using the neck side as front like the back side so what i marked there is one inch to bring down the depth of my neck for the back so that is why you can see me removing from the back a uh, front side to get that our round neck line for the back i'm cutting it now that is the back side of it now so just follow every detail that you can see me doing and please subscribe to my channel and share it to your friend please give us a thumbs up please and also watch my video to the end so this is how you go and make your own and facilitating it do it on your own so that you can be able to cut this tie and wear it out because my after cutting after sewing you will see me wearing it out so this is how you go about it remember it's a small box sleeve that we are going to have on this top that we are making and i will cut it it's up shoulder so it's up shoulder top that we are making now so this is the back and opening it that is the zipper side of it now so after that i will cut the sleeve so let me also see and uh, show you how the back is so this are the back is and that is the sleeve now that you want to cut it's a small post sleeve this is the first folding and this is the second folding so just watch the way i want to just cut it what i'm just doing there just for me now to open the side because i'll go and stitch the other side where i'm pointing so that will not face our elastic so this is how you also go about it so let me open the side of this um, sleeve so that by the time i take it we can fit so the length is what i'm showing nine the width is 12 so that is how we got this our sleeve so now i want to just open it for us to go and sew and stitch so that we'll pass it with our elastic so this are you go and stitch it and pass it with elastic so this are you go about it now so now is the facing the elastic so i've got to run a stitch and want to stitch it now so can you see me doing what i'm doing there now putting out the elastic so that it will puff out so we'll put it at the two side of it that is the upper side and the down side of it now so our sleeve will be ready and to puff out so it's up shoulder that we are making on this top having this waistline at the down side so this is how it is so you now use your pin to pin it so that you will continue to fix the elastic and it will puff out and you take it to the machine and stitch together that is to hold it so that it not run out so this is how you also go about it when making your puff sleeve if you have not watched my video please watch it and watch it to the end please and subscribe to my channel so that more people can see it that is share it so that more people can see my video and learn from it so this is how you go and stitch it on the machine and after that you just take it to attach to the body of the top that we are making so i'm just telling you how you can do it on your own when making 
your own. So we have done with the sleeve. After that, I will take it now to the machine. So I'm just pinning it down and I'll also cut out the elastic and fix it to the other side and it will be ready. So this is how it is now. So you can see our V shape waistline is ready. How beautiful it is. Uh, we made use of a uh, duchess material to make this beautiful style and it also have a puff sleeve on it. It's a small one. So guys, just keep on watching this tutorial. Watch it to the end. It's another way for you to support my channel to grow. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, this is the time for you to do that. Just pause and click the red button under my video to subscribe now. And you can share this video with your friends. Give my video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on Friday.